So in this video, I'm going to show you how to take the uh, footage that we created and uh, make a uh, presentation with it. All right. So uh, in the media section at the bottom, at the end is presenter. So which is the tool that you use to present. Uh, you're going to click create presentation. And then over here, you're going to see there's a uh, play and go back. And, and this button is add media to presenter. So there's the three sections. I'm not going to include the video. I just felt that, it, you know, we didn't have as many animations. And if we did want to do that, we're building a large building. Maybe that's a more appropriate scenario. But uh, we have a few characters talking and so on. But that's that's really it. We're really trying to sell the building and the design. So what we're going to do is click the first one, click the shift key, and click the last one, and drag everything in. And then I'm going to click all the way to the end. I can look at these, and one of the things that's really powerful with uh, with this software is if you're like edit media, and you're like I don't like this folder, I want to fix it, then you just go over here and you refresh it. This becomes the new photo. Same thing over here. So you're like I don't like this photo that much. I'm gonna just go like this. That I want it to show the two doors and so and maybe the sofa. I'm going to do it like this and I'm going to go like this. So now I'm going to click refresh and you see it becomes the new photo. So that's the real power. So you did take your photos and all that and they're fine. But uh, maybe, um, you know, you want to even include a, a new one. So recapture here. Um, you want one with the two characters, but I, I, there's no point because you're not selling the end of the software and the animation. You're selling, um, what, what's going on here. So the pool is probably your, your better bet. So I'm just going to ignore that one. If you go back, it's back to that. Um, you know, you could squeeze in a few others. You can move these around, by the way. Uh, and so now what I'm going to do is I'm going to go back. And I want to go to the end and add the panoramic photos. Okay. So I'm going to just put this over here. And I'm going to go and add more panoramic photos. Click, click shift, drag them in. Okay. I did have a video, but I decided not to include it. So I'm going to go to the beginning and let's have a look. So here's where we want to decide. All right. Some of these photos might not be as good. So I'm going to, for example, zoom this one out. Go like that. I'm gonna, I want the tree. The tree is nice. So I'm gonna retake that photo. So that's kind of what you're doing here. This is the final, uh, you're kind of, oops, I don't have the tree. Let's try that again. Click the little, three little dots. I want to edit this photo, so I need to click on, oops, go Z. I want to click on edit media. Okay, so this photo, I don't like it. So I'm going to just fix it right now. Because right now you're going to go through this as if it's your final, uh, let's just, that's pretty good. We see the dog and the cat there, Click fresh. You see the animation. I don't like that one. So we're going to do this. So we get a better sense of the house. Really selling the house. So boom, right here. And again, this one here too. Let's see the front door like that. That's a little bit better. I'm going to refresh that one. see what it looks like from the indoor where you can see the cathedral ceiling there that's really nice you know maybe i need to fix this so what i'm going to do is add a frame up here to put the emphasis on um where's the decorations i'm going to grab a painting or something to emphasize that there's something up there that's a cathedral ceiling now we're going to probably do a video in VR and you're going to get a much better sense for the depth. So that's going to go there. So I'm going to, that's my new photo. Again, I, I want to unclick on everything. 
before I click refresh. So there you go. And that one's good. That one's good. So I'm going to flip these around like that. And okay, see here, I could put another decoration up here just to give an, a sense of the cathedral ceiling that's there. So um, again, refresh. You can see now. And over here, I, I'd said I should have put a couch. So let's do that right now. We're going to go to uh, living room, sofas. I don't know, maybe a little piece like this. It doesn't really matter. It's just to fill in the scene. It just feels empty. And maybe you have another chair there. And we'll go get a little table. I don't really know what would look good, but let's just try this here. Okay, so now it's a little bit nicer, so I'm going to retake that photo. And out here too, I feel like I could put something else. I don't know what it could be. There's not really a lot of outdoor furniture. This is an example where you could go get some outdoor models and get them to put into your thing. So a barbecue or something. So under city, I found some planters. I'm going to put that a little, fill in the scene a little bit better. So look how nice that is. And then we could even put another one over here. It's probably too big, so let's change the size of that one. And let's shrink it all the way together. So see, that adds a little bit more. So you see, even though we thought we were done, we're not done. And let's see what that looks like. Look in the sky. All right, and then the next one. Same thing, we could put some type of uh, planter over here. Way too big, so we'll just shrink it. And add. you basically want every photo to be really great. And this one also needs to be redone because there's this new element that's added there. And Might need to retake these two because we added that. I saw that. Oops, control Z. Okay, so that's pretty good. So let's go back and let's go all the way to. So now we can, oops, move forward. This is our scene. Okay, so there's right away there's an error. I want this one over at the beginning. So. Just press play, I think it's probably easier. You got about 10 seconds for each one. Get a sense, and then you can still tweak these, and that's what the students are going to be presenting to you. Um, it's about it. I'm going to stop it now because the video has been going on for long enough. And then the last one, we're going to look at how to export this.